everyone. We thank God for such a beautiful morning. And this morning we are looking at the power of fasting. Before we start our devotion this morning, I would like to request us to pray together. Shall we pray? Blessed Heavenly Father, we thank you because you are mighty, because you're faithful and gracious. And Lord, as we come before you this morning to hear and receive your word, may you speak to us and may your word encourage us to move and grow in love with you, Lord. We give you thanks and praise for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Beloved, it has been a blessed week this morning that we are journeyed, we have a journey through the power of prayer. We are learning more about prayer. But this morning there is a charge for you and I to focus and put our attention on the power of fasting. Do you feel the urge to pray and fast? Do you feel the desire to pray and fast? Sometimes we have thought fasting helps God. Fasting helps us. And this morning we are presented with a portion of scripture, which is Matthew chapter 17, starting from verses 16 to 21. In this portion of scripture, we see an amazing story that is being told by Matthew. In this passage of scripture, we see a man who comes to beg Jesus to heal his son, who had been possessed by a demon that had tormented him. And his father tells Jesus that this demon sometimes attacked the son and he threw himself in fire. And he says, Lord, have mercy on me, on my son, and heal him. And he says, I've tried to your disciples and they failed this. And Jesus at once casts out the demon and the son is restored to fullness. And the disciples at the end of this story come to Jesus and they ask him. The, most of the versions I read say they came privately to Jesus and they asked him, why is it that we cast out this demon? And it couldn't. Nothing happened. But something amazing is told in this portion of scripture. And in verses 21, that Jesus tells his disciples, this kind cannot go away without prayer and fasting. This kind cannot go away without prayer and fasting. And friends, it triggers our minds what is spoken of, what Jesus speaks in verses, uh, verses 17 of chapter, verses 21 of chapter 17 of Matthew about this boy. He says this kind cannot go away unless with prayer and fasting. And this morning we have a chance to focus on the power and fasting. In this in, in this portion, we see the disciples who had gone out to pray for this boy. The father had asked them. But because prayer was their daily routine, it was part of them, some things, and, and in particular, this boy could not be restored to full health without fasting. And Jesus tells them, how long will I stay with you? He extends the church of them having faith. He tells you, I tell you the truth, that." With even faith as small as a mustard seed, you can tell this mountain to throw itself away and it will obey. But you must concentrate and consecrate yourself into prayer and fasting. And friends, I want to charge us this morning that prayer does not help God. Prayer helps us. And prayer is not a weapon of twisting God's arm to do what we desire. Prayer and fasting is an opportunity for us to deprive ourselves from the things we enjoy, to increase our fellowship and communion with God. That one, we shall know his will. Two, we shall act in his will. Three, that we shall have the power to walk and act in accordance to his will. Friends, are you discouraged to fast? Shall you be encouraged this morning to fast? For some of the things that you have prayed for in your life, and maybe there is no change. Could we try out to fast? Yes, we have prayed. Yes, this week we have been charged to fast, to pray. Shall we try fasting? Shall we come to God in fasting that his will will prevail, that our fellowship and communion with him shall be increased? Sometimes when we fast, the things do not work out the way we expect them, but they always work out the way the Lord wants them to be. Fasting should help you and I accept the will of our Father Jesus Christ. And friends, as we get out this morning, may the Lord give you the grace to pray more. May the Lord give you the grace to fast when you feel the conviction
compassion and the need to fast. And may the Lord find you every other time you come seeking him. His promises say, in his promises, he says, come to me, all of you are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. And he says, knock and the door will be open for you. And this is our prayer this morning. Shall we pray together? Blessed Heavenly Father, we thank you because of your faithfulness and goodness unto us. We come to you, Lord, asking and believing for your mercy and grace. We pray that may you continue reigning in our lives for those among us that desire to pray and fast. I pray that, Lord, you will enable them to do so. You will give them the grace and that, Lord, those who diligently seek you shall find you. We give you thanks and praise for in Jesus' name we pray.